There we go. So uh, let's check this out. Here's an interesting email. It just came in from SpeakerNet News. It's got their email newsletter. It comes all in this HTML email. This would be great to uh, pick up and post as a news release. I wonder how I should be able to do that. So here are the specs, and I'll read these lists. You'll see this in the uh, YouTube in a minute. Here's how to send an email newsletter to your blogger account, clean it up, pick up the HTML, go into Expert Click, post and send it as an Expert Click news release. It's a pretty simple, straightforward process. And we're going to go through the following screens, as everybody sees the screens. The first screen is forward it to yourself, and I use it to forward to my blogger address. Then I go to blogger and I open up the email, and I'm able to edit the email. Then I go to expert click, I log in to create a news release, and I go to see the, see the live news release. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and find the email that came to me. I'm going to forward it to my blogger email address. And this is an inbound email I've opened up in my customer handbook to take inbound email. So I click send. And this will be sent from my system directly into my blogger account. So then I go over here, and I go to my blogger account, and I just refresh the blogger account, and there will be the one that just came in. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the email that just came in from a customer handbook, the same one I just sent to myself. Okay, so we'll pull this down a little bit. It takes a minute to come up. There it is. It's live. Uh, <coughs> there's the release we just put in. Um, and you can see the whole piece here. So I'm going to go to it. There it is live in HTML in my blogger account, because you can input things into your blogger account so you have it. So I'm going to go into my blogger account. I'm going to click the Edit button. In the Edit button, it's going to come up and it's going to show me there's the HTML that makes up this issue of SpeakerNet News. I'm going to compose. I'm going to go, hey, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I don't need to have the HTML when I load it into HTML. I'll get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this uh, click here to trouble this email. I don't need, need to see that. And there's the text I need. And at the bottom of the text, I'll go in and I'll remove all the stuff. I'll leave refer speaker and I'll just get rid of everything down here at the bottom, which is encoded HTML. Because I don't want to have that because it'll mess things up. Okay? Because you don't want to get rid of anything down here at the bottom, which is the stuff for you. You want to put your own email opt-out in. So somebody sees the news release, takes your email opt-out. You click the edit HTML. And that'll give you the text. Okay? Pretty simple, straightforward. And you take that, go control A, go control C, pick up your text. I usually put it into something like Notepad. Let's open a copy of Notepad. Bring that over here. Copy it into Notepad. So now I have this is the text for the release sitting there floating in Notepad. So we'll close this down over here. I'm done with Blogger, so I'll just push this out of the way. Uh, I'll stay on the page, but I'll just push it out of the way. I'll minimize it and push it out of here. Okay, so now I'm in Expert Click, and I'll log into Expert Click, which I've already done. I'm in the uh, SpeakerNet News account. I'll click Send Release. It'll come up. It'll ask me how do I want to send the release. Now I know I got HTML down here, so I'll click HTML or plain text. Go Next. And I do need a uh, headline. So uh, I did cheat and wrote the headline earlier. SpeakerNet News. Da, da, da. So you just cut and paste your headline in. Pretty simple headline. SpeakerNet News, December 31st. Uh, click Next. You go through this page because you aren't going to load a logo or do any other text. You don't need to load that logo and stuff. You go Next. You see two boxes come up here. The top box is our HTML converter. The bottom box is where you can paste HTML code. So get rid of this little log. That tells you there's HTML. Go back to your notepad. Control A, Control C. Copy your notepad in here. There's the HTML. So, oh my gosh, is this going to look all right? And the bottom of this, you go click here to save your work. And it'll come up. Here's the HTML converter. You'll see the HTML come up in our system so you see it's live. So you can click Next. And now you're in the News Release Wire system. And you can click Preview to see what it looks like. Here's the preview. And, oh, look at this. There's this constant contact pixel thing at the top. We want to get rid of that. So we'll go down here. We'll go Previous. We'll go and look at this. There's this constant contact pixel thing here at the top. I guess I don't need this. You see, this is things coming up here. That's the piece of text we saw we don't need. So I'm going to get rid of that piece of text. I'm going to go uh, Save again. I'm going to go Next. I'm going to go Preview. And here's my preview this time. Preview is clean this time. See all this? I'll blow it up so we see it's clean. There's a whole clean preview on this. Uh, that's good. So now we'll close the preview. We'll go back to here. We'll tick the box and we'll publish the release. And if you go to the front page of Extra Click Home, 
You see there's the release, Speaker Net News, December 23rd. It picks up their uh, <coughs> number one image from their press room page, so you see their icon. And then here is their release. Live, bada, bada, bada. Live, complete information directly from uh, their email news release converted into a news release.